Uh, I started learning to play music at the age of 59, 10 years ago. I watched a YouTube uh, video you did in 2013, arguing that it would take about five years for one to obtain some level of confidence with the instrument. So true, I'm finally able to have fun playing music with others. We formed a band playing in public, brilliant. My question, in addition to keep at it, do you have any tips for those who start learning music later in life? That's a good question. Um, that video has has definitely polarized people. Some people watch that video and really sort of misinterpret what I'm saying there. And other people find it very motivational. Um, the video is called Learn Blues Harmonica in Weeks, brackets not, because I think people underestimate how difficult it is to learn the harmonica and get good at it. And it does take a long time. And that's not the same. I'm not saying you can't have fun and you won't um, be able to make progress quickly. You will. But the, the harmonica, like any instrument, takes time uh, to master. And that time is measured, in my opinion, in years. And I think people have unrealistic expectations about how hard and how much practice is required. But if you picked up the instrument later in life, you know, that's great. And uh, the key thing is to, is to have fun. I would recommend surrounding yourselves with musicians as you are doing, uh, Bob, uh, because you'll, you'll learn about theory and you'll learn about playing tunes and bouncing off uh, each other. And also that's really where music comes to life. You know, a lot of people just play at home and get a lot of pleasure out of that. But music is an act of communication. And there's a big difference between playing scales and playing things at home and then actually performing a piece of uh, of music to someone, to an audience. And it's that in that sort of communication where there's so much pleasure. Um, in terms of sort of practical things to do, you know, don't shy away from theory. Don't shy away from playing the harmonica in different positions because that will work your mental machinery about the layout of, of the harmonica. And though, you know, a lot of people stay in cross position, but playing in first position and third position is really good. And that will help you accelerate your learning. So if you feel that you have limited, uh, limited time, then that, you know, that would be a really good thing. And don't forget to work on the fundamentals and, you know, um, not run before you can walk. So I, I wouldn't start with things like overblows or anything complex. Just learn some good tunes, work on getting a nice sound and having fun. Those would be my main things.